All right, uh, next item on our agenda is the Wellness Committee Report. Jenna, come on up. Jenna, to introduce yourself to the Board of Education. Yes. Hello, my name is Jenna Asburn. I'm um, in a Spanish teacher and an instructional coach for World Language and Wellness. Also an assistant. Athletic director in the spring for spring sports. Yep. Okay. So. You've been at RB? This is my sixth year. Okay. Sixth year. Sixth and a half, because I started with maternity leave, so. Glad to still be here. Um, so I know you've uh, received the annual RBHS uh, Wellness Committee report, but I just wanted to highlight a few things that were on the report, a few of our efforts this year as well as last year. Um, last year, Bill Fry was running the committee, and he um, started back after Christmas break or after holiday break with a um, Biggest Loser contest for faculty and staff. Um, it was a it was a fun uh, event to get healthy and, and lose some of those holiday pounds. 30 faculty members um, participated in the contest and awards were given to the top three uh, losers. And uh, we also this year have done the, the, the district did the wellness screenings on September 18th and we had 61 faculty members participate in the wellness screenings, so that was a good turnout. Um, additionally, Quest, our um, food service provider is really taking um, a focus on fresh ingredients, offering the students fresh ingredients and fresh food in the student cafeteria this year. Um, they have gone completely nut free in their food preparation. Um, right when we start back from holiday break, they're going to be offering some gluten free snack options and dessert options for students and staff. Um, as well as they'll be opening up a chopped salad bar with fresh ingredients on Wednesdays and an oatmeal bar um, for students. I'm not sure which day that will be. And they'll also be learning to prepare fresh, fresh sushi. Um, the next few things is um, our senior um, PE leaders who take their leadership class junior year are going to be preparing some healthy tips for um, students, staff, and community members, and we're going to be posting those on the Facebook page as well as the school website. And lastly, um, we one of our committee members is the director of the local YMCA in LaGrange Park, and she has um, given us some signage to hang up to um, promote memberships for students that are um, at a very low cost, $20 a month. Um, and we wanted to promote this since that uh, the wellness center and the weight room are not open to the general student population after school anymore. So, those are some of our highlights for this year. And continue. I'm, I'm very impressed with your wellness committee members. I like how you have outside and inside, and people that are can really make an impact. So, well, I thought you did a good job with that. Thank you. Any questions for Jenna? I have two questions. How often does your wellness committee meet? Um, we have three meetings during the first this first first semester. We meet about once a month. Okay. Um, so we'll continue that moving forward. And you may, as you offer more healthy choices in the cafeteria, are the students actually taking advantage of them? Or? Yeah, so actually, um, Don Ives did a test run with the chopped salad bar. I think it was two Wednesdays ago, and it was super popular. Okay. So okay. Um, yeah, the kids, are, the kids like variety, sure. she says. Um, so she's um, trying to mix it up quite a bit. Okay, good. So. All right, any other questions? I have a question. Okay. okay uh, the student cafeteria is completely nut free. So, what's the rationale, and what does that mean? Um. So that that's what Dawn was telling us uh, in the preparation of the food. She's trying to use like some of the pasta sauces would have pine nuts in them. She's trying to get away from that. I think just being sensitive to the large amount of you know. Allergies and, allergies and stuff that are going around that you know students have here it's a serious concern so um, she tries to be sensitive to that well I mean I I just look at that I mean peanut is one thing but nuts I mean actually it's one of those healthy things you can eat and we're scratching it from the diet yeah I'm not sure why she decided I don't know if we have a specific student that has you know more than just a peanut allergy but I can definitely follow up with her and I, I think it's worth it I see something like that it's just a little where's the evidence okay you know, so. or we need clarification well, yeah. clarif clar clarification In all right general. any other questions for Jenna Jenna thanks a lot we really appreciate you coming here yeah absolutely great job if you could forward me that feedback through uh, Don or Kristen I could uh, 
forward it to the board in a weekly update. Absolutely.